Jimin takes over global charts with hottest new single. If you're a fan of BTS, then I bet you've heard about the countless records broken by Jimin's debut solo album, Face. The album has hit several milestones on its first day of release, selling over a million copies worldwide in just 24 hours. Not only is Jimin now the first ever soloist from Korea to hit over a million sales in a day, but he also ranks among the biggest day one openings in the country's music industry. With such impressive first day numbers, Jimin's face is already set to be one of Korea's best selling albums of the year, proving once again Jimin's popularity both domestically and globally. So join me as we dive into all the records broken by Jimin's historic solo debut. Billboard Global BTS Jimin made history as the first member of the group to achieve an unaccompanied solo top 40 hit on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, as his song Set Me Free Part 2 debuted at number 30 on the chart in Billboard's latest charts, dated April 1st. The song, released on March 17th, received 6.4 million US streams and 63,000 downloads sold in its opening week according to Luminate. In addition to debuting on the Hot 100, Set Me Free Part 2 also topped both the all-genre digital song sales chart and the world digital song sales chart, debuting at number 5 on the Billboard Global Excluding US and number 8 on the Billboard Global 200, with 56 million streams and 42,000 sold worldwide. Jimin's second solo entry on the Hot 100 outside of BTS, Jimin's collaboration with Taehyung, titled Vibe, peaked at number 76 in January. With his solo debut, Jimin has become the seventh member of BTS to hit number 1 on the Emerging Artist Chart, which ranks the most popular developing artists of the week. Of the 14 solo songs by BTS members to hit the Hot 100, Set Me Free Part 2 is the third to reach the top 40, and the first unaccompanied. The other two songs to reach the top 40 were Juice World and Suga's Girl of My Dreams, which hit number 29 in 2021, and Charlie Puth's Left and Right, featuring Tungguk, which peaked at number 22 in 2022. BTS is known for its record-breaking achievements on the chart, boasting six number ones and six top 10 hits on the Hot 100, and Simon's solo success adds to the group's impressive chart history, which just goes to show the individual talent and popularity of each member. Billboard Japan. In Japan, Jimin has become the first and only Korean soloist in history to reach number one on Billboard's Japan's Artist 100 chart. Jimin also ranked first on Billboard Japan's Top Album Sales chart, Download Albums chart, and Hot Albums chart, earning him yet another new record as the first and only Korean soloist in history to reach the top spot on both of these main charts at the same time time. Furthermore, Like Crazy and Set Me Free Part 2 have also made their way onto various other charts, with Like Crazy ranking 74th on the Lyricist chart and debuting at number 3 on the Download Songs chart, while Set Me Free Part 2 ranked 55th on the Lyricist chart and landed at number 59 on the Hot 100 chart, having climbed up 22 positions from last week's ranking. One of the most popular K-pop stars in Japan, Jimin has maintained his top spot on the Oricon Weekly Digital Albums chart with Face, as well as on the Weekly Western Albums chart. Truly amazing achievements. Spotify On the Spotify charts, arguably the biggest charts for US music, on the day of Jimin's album's release, the title track, Like Crazy, became the biggest solo song debut by a Korean soloist on several Spotify charts, including Spotify Global, USA, UK, Chile, and many other countries. Meanwhile, the album itself recorded the biggest solo album debut by a Korean soloist on Spotify in 2023, being the first and only Korean soloist to debut inside the top 10 on Spotify Global and USA chart, and number two and number six, respectively. The records don't stop on the first day of the album's release, as the song climbs to fifth place on Spotify USA, thereby making Jimin the first and only K-pop soloist in history to enter the top five on this chart and even ranking above big US names like 
Taylor Swift. At the same time, the song's streaming numbers set a new record for the biggest and highest second day by a K-pop soloist on Spotify's Global Daily Top Songs chart. On the third day, Like Crazy rose to the top of the Spotify Global chart and made Jimin the first and only Korean soloist in history to reach number one on the Spotify Global Daily Top Songs chart, which fans celebrated by trending Jimin record maker on Twitter. Furthermore, on Spotify, Set Me Free Part 2 has become the fastest Korean song by a Korean soloist to surpass 40 million streams, hitting the record in just 9 days. Meanwhile, Like Crazy on its second day became the fastest song by a Korean soloist to reach 15 million streams. Adding all these up, Face achieved the biggest first week album debut by a Korean act on Spotify in 2023 in just 3 days. Physical Copies on March 24th, Jimin released his debut solo album, Face, and in just one day, it sold over 1 million physical copies worldwide, a milestone that is unprecedented for a Korean soloist and established Jimin as a trailblazer in the music industry. The previous record was held by trot singer Lim Young Woo, selling 940,624 copies of his debut solo album, I'm Hero, on the first day of its release. Face also ranks as the ninth biggest first day sales for a Korean album, with BTS's 2020 release Map of the Soul 7 still ranking as the biggest 24-hour opening in South Korea by selling over 2.65 million copies. Other top K-pop groups like Tomorrow by Together, Seventeen, Stray Kids, and Blackpink also rank in the top 10 among first day Korean album sales. Despite K-pop soloist's reputation of having slightly lower album sales compared to K-pop group's numbers, Jimin's success is a testament to his talent and the power of his music. Although the final numbers took longer to calculate due to the various release formats, eventually Hanto confirmed that Jimin sold 700 168,575 copies of the regular version of his album and 252,957 copies of the Weverse version, which included all the usual photo cards, etc. But instead of a CD, the Weverse version album comes with a QR to stream the music, which is sold by Hive's platform Weverse. While Hanta reported incredible numbers for Jimin, a digital glitch had fans convinced that the platform was purposefully manipulating the numbers to bring down Jimin, resulting in the hashtag Hanta Corrupt Scandal. To break down the scandal simply, just as Jimin's solo album was soaring past the 1 million mark on Hanta's charts, something strange began to happen and sales suddenly stopped moving, as if the chart had frozen in time. To make matters worse, it seemed like Jimin's numbers were the only ones being affected, which led fans to bombard the platform with questions. In response, Hanto denied any issues and even hid the real-time sales data, which only fueled fans' frustration. After fans exposed their video and image proof of the glitch, which showed sales being added and then deleted again, Hanto finally announced they would survey the sales. But to fans' surprise, when the real-time sales data returned, over 700,000 sales had disappeared. The entire situation became a massive issue among netizens, as armies calling for an improvement in how sales are recorded. The massive first-day album sales numbers from Jimin show the ongoing significance of physical products in South Korea as the seventh largest music industry in the world. According to the latest report from the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, physical album sales still play a crucial role in the country's music market. And with over 1 million units sold on the first day, Jimin's Face will undoubtedly be one of Korea's best-selling albums in 2023. Furthermore, with Jimin expected to perform on Korean music shows as part of the album promotions, I am personally really curious to see how the album's incredible sales will reflect on music show charts such as Music Bank and Inkigayo, where Jimin is expected to dominate despite competition from hitmaker rookie girl groups like Ibe and Enix. So there you have it, Jimin's solo debut album Face has truly raised the bar for Korean solo artists by showcasing both the incredible impact of BTS's quality music and the ongoing worldwide fascination with K-pop. Piece of art, this album is ultimately not just about the numbers, but it is also a testament to Jimin's artistry and the emotional death he brings to his music, making it one of the most significant K-pop releases of the year. We would love to hear your thoughts. Which song from the album was your favorite? Please like and subscribe for more updates on Jimin and other K-pop artists.